I saved because there are still the harpies out here. And this is our first time encountering harpies in this adventure. I had originally given these guys the charming spell because I thought... Okay, no wonder they just froze Rada. I equipped her mirror scroll and I never actually used it. I'm a complete idiot. Anyway, I had originally given them a charming spell because uh, it, is an, it is a spell that enemies can use and it actually is kind of a pretty hilarious effect whenever they land it. But just like the Dryads, for whatever reason, when Harpies try to cast Charming, the game freezes. So I had to give them something else. My solution was to give them Weakness instead of Tap Stamina. This is not a major change for them, because the spell is about the same level Tap Stamina was, so it has about the same effect on the heroes that Tap Stamina would have. All this really means is that the Harpies get to their move and hit phase quicker, because they cast on everyone faster. And that's what Harpies need, because uh, being move and hit enemies is basically all they're good for. Like, they have the Feather Shroud as their armor, so they've actually got boosted dexterity compared to what they used to, and a tiny bit more protection. But they have the same weapon they always did, which is called the Dragon Claws, and boy does that weapon hit hard. So, although it's a minor buff, the Harpies now have a spell that lets them get to attacking faster, and that makes them more dangerous. As you can see, they just chunked Rada for 32 damage. I think I'd better uh, burn you. Oh, I didn't die. Alright, 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 alright. We're gonna run Aleron over here, so that the Harpy is more likely to attack him than Rada. Oh, cool. We just get to keep right on rolling through. Die, Harpies! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not Rada. No. Leave her alone. She's going for Godric. Uh-oh. She killed Godric. <laughs> you suck! Oh! That was very, very rude of you, Harpy. Now we get to flee and reload the save. This is why we saved. Because we love our alchemist and we're not going to let him befall that fate. What's our health like? Man, that was, like, exactly half of Rita's health. Eh. We can patch up a tiny bit. Of course, the real issue here is that they're casting weakness, and that just lowers our health values significantly. I want to say it's level 5 weakness. I don't remember. It's enough, whatever it is. Battle old harpies. Oh, and Harpies are solar enemies that are mythological creatures. So I added solar elements to their Dragon Claws, which means they override physical defense now. So I guess that's a buff too. They get to moving and hitting faster, and they hit harder as a result of my changes. Do I want to cast Light? I think I do. Even though they'll benefit from it, we also will. And they're kind of fragile enemies, so we shouldn't have too much trouble taking them down. Just gotta make sure we get them before they get us. <sighs> Don't waste my time, harpies. Who should I attack? I guess I should attack the only one I can reach. Kind of like giant bats, they flop around a little when you hit them. It can cause problems. <laughs> I mean, heck, the reason we lost that last fight is because the harpy got away from Aloran after it. It was, she was hit by him. Where do you think you're going? Going after Godric. Oh, screw you. You're not allowed to get him. Ah, oh, Aloran, come on. You stink. Hit him with stamina drain. Yeah. Good job. At least you got one of them, I guess. Run away, Godric! Run away! Or maybe run just far enough away to still cast Dragon Flames on them. Eh. Can you, can you reach? Where is the red light? I saw it. Eh. 
Godric moves really quick whenever you're running, and he moves really slow whenever he's walking. Come on. I'm gonna inch just close enough. I'm that patient. I'm waiting. I'm gonna inch just close enough. Yeah, and I inched too far. Mm, there. Oh, right. And also because of their status as mythological creatures, they take more damage from elemental attacks. That was my decision for their resistances and such. I believe they resist chaos and they're weak to elements. So they will take more damage from any type of elemental spell, no matter what it is. You got her alone! Dang it, they killed him again! Arg! It's because of the weakness! Screw you, Harpy! Oh my goodness, why are these guys giving me so much trouble? I might have also leveled them up a bit. I can't remember what level they were before. But since they appear fairly late into the game, I probably gave them a bit of a buff in levels. So they could stay relevant just a bit longer. And now they're too relevant and they're kicking my butt. And this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing, Harpies! Why are you so mean? Ooh, we got a different loadout for, like, the, the battlefield. Good, they're further from Godric. They won't get him so easily. Eh, uh, no, like, we want like. <sighs> Harpy fight, number three. I wish I could say I knew that Godric wouldn't be such a liability, but I did. I'm not at all surprised that I've had to reset a few times just because of him. Eh. We'll get him. Just give it a moment. Look how ugly they are. They're so gross. Maybe this is why Nintendo didn't mind having an actual topless woman in an RPG game. Like, if you look close enough at him. I'm not gonna. But if you look close enough at him, you can see. But they've got gross monster boobs. Who would want to see those? Yeah. Just run away, Godric. Just, just run away. Well, mm, there is Brenna between them, but they're clearly gunning for him. You know? It's like, what are you gonna do? Godric either gets too close and gets hurt, or he stays a safe distance and lives. Good hit, Aileron. Thank you. Think you can finish it, Brenna? Just maybe? Just maybe? Almost. Oh, it's fleeing. Yeah, get out of here. Well, we'll attack your friend in the meantime. Now you're both on the ropes. This should be into you. And Brenna can finish you. Yes, we've ridden Aiden of two menaces today. Ooh, we got some of their rare items, too. That's kind of surprising. We got both Exhaustion and Weakness. Even though Weakness is the only spell they know, I lumped in Exhaustion and Stamina Drain with their scroll pool. And we got some Feather down. Ooh. Now it's late enough to camp. Look at that. We'll camp. Ooh, or do I want to go kill, kill those bats? I kind of want to kill that bat that messed up Brenna the other time. Let's go around and kill that one. Yeah. Uh, is this the spot? I think this is it. Yeah. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, you can press A at this hillside to get to the top of the ridge. Or descend to the ridge. Even though the other passage to it is just right over there. Whatever. <sighs> oh, I was going to say about the feather down. Uh, among the unused items in the Aiden database, there were a few that seemed to be like uh, the reagent slots, like herbs and spices and gemstones and whatnot. Um, we can't actually use them for that purpose by any stretch. But I decided to have a little fun with those ones and make them items that uh, drop in, like, little clusters. 
that maybe could be used for reagents someday. Did I already kill this bat and I just forgot about it? But for now, they're just sellable things. Like anything else with an asterisk. Oh no, we didn't. See, there it is. Here they come. Oh gosh. I forgot how bad they whacked you, dear. I'll probably want to cast air shield this fight. Are those all darkened bats? Or are these regular bats? Uh. Okay, it was just a trick of the perspective. One is a darkened bat, three are regular bats. Still gonna cast light. Light. Yeah, we'll make them pay. Unless they don't come close enough and just sit there like idiots. Eh. Hit the big one. You missed the big one. You had one job. Hey, you got stuck on the small bat. What a loser. I will weaken them. <laughs> Not that the little one's needed at this point. Nope, this spell's just for you, big guy. So you go down even quicker. Hit him. There you go, good job. Surprised that's all that did. Maybe Godric can get some sword practice while we're here. You gonna get some turns, little bats? There they go. Couldn't hit her. I'll really be curious to see how much damage they can do to a later game hero. Because part of the reason why I decided to make them class cannons was to see if they could still hold their own in later game combat. Chances are they can't because they're still only level 2. But if they can break your AC, they might be able to do a number on you. Where are you going, Dark and Bat? Can you bite Raida? Owie! I can't tell if he got any health back. I don't think he did. I'm gonna kill it. Die! The dark and bad is dead. Alright. Let's clean up the little wussy ones. Splat. They're fleeing! Uh... I don't think Goddard can reach this one. I could just let them run, but why would I? Why would I be so generous? Come on, Godric, I want to see you kill this thing. Get it. Run around behind it. Stab it in the back. Yeah, you did it. I'm proud of you. You don't even needed that weakness spell on him. You would have gotten him anyway. Or would you have? Do they have 18 health now? I think they might. Can't remember. Don't care. Alright, that takes care of those guys. Ah, and we can go take care of the Chaos guys while we're out here. This was the reason I passed on them before, because I knew we would be coming back out to deal with the cave. And those guys are right over here. But we're going to camp before we confront them, so I don't have to cast light. Well, actually, I probably will need to anyway, but it'll be daytime and we'll be healthy. Yay. Alright. Whoa, he's moving. <laughs> Scout's on the move. Save the game. Saving it. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Chaos Dudes. Uh, four Scouts. And our first Chaos Wizard. This one is a Chaos Spellweaver. You can tell because of the weapon he has. And that's the weapon they always had. But in Aiden Plus, they can actually drop it. Isn't that nice? In the original game, they are hard-coded to never ever drop their sights, which is stupid. There's no reason for that. The sight's not even that good. Uh, I did end up completely overhauling their spell list. They might still have like one or two spells that are the same, but for the most part, 
they've completely changed. Yeah, see? They're casting Brilliance now. I gave them one spell from each of the schools plus one uh, non-affiliated spell. And the same is also true of Chaos Sorcerers, which is the other variants. Uh, in the original game, the Sorcerers and the Spellweavers are practically identical in terms of stats. The Sorcerers, for whatever reason, have more health, even though they are the smaller variant. So in Aiden Plus, I kind of uh, switched things around a bit. The Spellweavers now have more health because they are the, the bigger of the two. And they also are a higher level than the Sorcerers. I think they were about the same level as each other before. Now the uh, Spellweavers are like three levels higher, I want to say. Ow. Jerk. Mascots. Getting out of town. So they got a little bit tougher, but not a lot. Uh, I would had wanted to give them uh, Sun and Moon Shields to hold, because I thought that would have been a neat mystical thing for them to have. But they cannot visibly hold shields on the field. And it's like, like the shield just not, does not appear. Words. The shield does not appear on their character model. So they do have one, but I won't tell you about it unless they drop it. Because it'll come up later. It'll be something that we can discuss uh, regarding another Chaos Monster. I kind of want to kill the scout. Just die, scout. Scouts are annoying. Alright, now it's just us and the wizard. God, you are so slow. They have clumsiness now. It's going to take him another three turns to cast that on everyone. These guys could probably use a dexterity boost. They have a hard time when they're working on loan like this. But whenever they're uh, accompanied by other spell weavers, they can get things done a little more quickly in terms of spell casting. Yeah, we didn't even get to see like everything they're capable of. Ooh, we got the Chaos Isle map. This is a rare drop from the Chaos Scouts. Because of course they would have the uh, map of their own island. Spoilers, there's an island of chaos. 100 gold. Poosh. Oh yeah, that's just a rare item you can sell. It, uh, it sells for a decent amount. Nothing too huge, but it's like... Uh, I figured if there was any one map in the game that Civilization would not normally have, it's the map to Chaos Isle, so... You get it from Chaos Monsters, and it sells for a decent amount, because that's useful information for people to have. The location and existence of Chaos Isle. Alright, so we did the thing. Oh, those wolves are back. You know, we're going to sneak around those wolves. We're not going to fight them again, if we can help it. Because of how they're positioned, it's really tricky. And it would be in my interest to take them on, because we could always use more experience. They're, they're still good for that, certainly. Uh, you know what, just in case I can't sneak around them, I'm going to go buy those Chaos Scythes and stuff. Thieves. Because that way, at least, we can have more options to hit them with for enchanted weapons. Oh, was it you? Or was it you? You're throwing guy, aren't you? I think this lady's the one I want. I want to buy something, lady. Give me that. Give me that sweet chaos staff. Thank you. No, oh, I've got to go all the way across town to get the other weapon. Doing it. Uh... We'll just enjoy the tune in the meantime. Tail walk be boppin'. Doodle do. Getting over to the hafted weapon shop. Into the building. Yarg! We need chaos weapons. Yeah, chaos. Okay. 
Now we're a little more prepared for enemies that cannot be hurt by physicals. Just a little more. Phew. Now I kind of just want to fight them because I bought those things. Dang it. Mm. We'll fight them on our way out of the Dryad Forest. How about that? They're a little easier to avoid on the way in than out. Don't ask me why. That just seems to be the case. Get on the back of the school there. Ugh. The Dryad's trial has been complete. And then we'll be able to check with the female Dryad and see if we can fight her, and if we can't, then I'll have a whole lot more to blather on about for the next few minutes. Well, actually, I will either way, because there's obviously cutscenes to be enjoyed in the Dryad Forest. Lots of dialogue to have with them. But it's interesting dialogue. So we get to have a good old story time. So if you slink off over this direction, you can kind of get away from the dire wolf. Kinda. Eh, 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 eh. A successful heist. Huzzah! Yeah, screw you, dire wolf. <laughs>